with Nicholas Perez from Del Mar College in, in Texas. How are you doing, Nicholas? Good, good. So uh, you were another one of the um, the National Laboratory people, right, this uh, this summer? Yes, sir. Yeah, and, and which laboratory did you work at? I worked uh, at Texas A&M Corpus Christi under Kirk Camerata. So. Uh-huh, and, w and what kind of work did you do? I did work with uh, stress-related genes in uh, seagrass. Okay, so. Could you tell us a little bit about what 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 that work was? What do you mean sure. by stress-related genes? Okay. I got a lot of stress. Are you talking yeah. about my kind of stress? <laughs> well, maybe. <laughs> so, might be something like that. This whole research started because we we were noticing a global decline in seagrass across the across the world, uh -huh. and uh, that's a big deal because seagrass is a keynote species. So the economy kind of hinges on that one species. If it goes down, the whole econ the whole uh, ecosystem crashes. Yeah. Okay. So. Um, and of course, we depend on a lot of the compounds that these plants make, and a lot of the compounds that the algae that live in the plants make. You know, for all the various products that we have. Well, right now, all we all we can really do to assess the health of seagrasses is to go out and take biomass-related um, tests, which is they just take the seagrass and they measure how much of it is dead or alive. You know, we really don't have any way of knowing what stressed it out to lead it to die. Well, that's where these stress-related genes come in. These are genes that are in the biochemistry of these organisms that are turned on during times of stress. Okay, so let's say the seagrass is being stressed by high salinity, high salt in the water. Then a certain stress-related gene will be turned on and it'll start to express itself in the creature and they, they can make different proteins to combat that specific stress. Well, what we were trying to do was sequence those genes. And once, the exactly, there. once yeah. we know the sequence, Okay, at least the way I understand it. Once we know the sequence, we can test seagrass in the wild, look at its genetic sequence, look for that gene, and see whether it's turned on or off. Well, depending on which genes are turned on, that would correspond with a specific stress um, in the environment. So we would at least be able to lean in the direction of what was stressing it out so that we could work to, you know, to fix the problem, whether it's anthropogenic pollution, or just something natural like high salinity or high temperature, things like that. That's great. Well, that's great. Uh, that's a great explanation too. Very good. Oh, um, thank you. So, um, are you gonna are you gonna come back? Go back next summer? I know uh, Brendan is, I believe. I would love to go yeah. back. They they said that I could come back anytime I want to. So I'm gonna hold them. I'm gonna hold them to that promise. So that's great. I, I'd love to see where the research goes. Very small slice of the pie here. Months of research done before this and still months of research to be yet to be done so excellent and i know you got an award this morning so congratulations yes. on Thank that you. and is this the first time in your first time you've been to dc that's right first yeah. time <laughs> and what a great opportunity huh right. for a Very community college city. student yeah. beautiful city excellent so. well congratulations and thank you thank you